Rushes are a common sight on many Irish farms and are a problem in areas with high rainfall or where poor drainage is present. In this short video, we'll go through the three crucial elements in firstly removing them from a piece of land and secondly suppressing the regrowth to minimise the number that return to the sward. These brown rushes are effectively dead and will not take up the chemical once it's applied. We need to take away this material and allow fresh new rushes to appear that will absorb the chemical more effectively. Cut and remove or mulch the rushes as close to the ground as possible. After about three weeks of regrowth, the young rushes can be treated. MCPA can be applied by boom sprayer. However, this is effectively a chemical topper and many applications are often required to provide control. Glyphosate is a systemic weed killer that has two major advantages. Firstly, it will kill the plant all the way down into the roots, so that any regrowth must come from seeds in the soil. Secondly, because it is usually applied using a weed wiper or liquor, it will only kill rushes and taller weeds, and is therefore a much safer method of applying chemicals with regard to the pollution of surface and groundwater. All of the rushes you can see should now be dead, so any regrowth must come from seeds in the ground. Now there are tens of thousands of rush seeds in every square meter of this field, but in order to germinate they need light. The best way we can prevent them from getting that light is by growing a dense sward of leafy grass on top of the soil. Taking a soil sample and then applying the required levels of lime and fertilizer will maximize grass growth. This grass will prevent light from getting to the rush seeds and will make it extremely difficult for them to germinate minimizing the number that return to the sword. <laughs> 